crafty friends it's annie from vintage lace journal and today i've got a really little quick make for you i put this on my instagram channel and i've had lots of likes and um, so i thought i'd come onto my youtube channel and just show exactly the process of making this cute little two pocket folder so it gets two tags in there and this is just made from one sheet of paper this part can then be um stuck into your journal um and your pockets are on the front so all you need to make this is I've got a compass with a pencil, however if you don't have a compass you can do something round to just draw around, a plate, um, some um, sticky tape or if you're really really good at drawing circles freehand it but it's best to have something to go round. Um, so first of all I'm going to show you what we do to start off with. So I've got a couple of different papers here, I'm going to try different ways. So first of all I'm going to make my circle, just making sure that that will fit on here. There we go. We go all the way round. This is going to keep moving. That needs to be tightened up. Try again. Okay. So once you've got your circle, cut all the way round. That's a very dodgy circle. I think my compass is a bit loose. However, we'll carry on. So once you've got your circle, the next step is really easy. So think about what part of your pattern paper you'd like on the outside, what part of your pattern paper you want on the inside. You do see both. Obviously, the pattern paper on the outside, you'll see a bit more. So I'm going to have this on the outside. So because I'm going to do that, I'm going to fold these two pieces in to the centre. A slightly thicker card. There we go. There we go. And then you bring the bottom part up, but not right to the top. Think about where you want your pocket. So I'm going to have my top pocket there. So I'm going to fold that along there. And just really burnish those creases to get a good, strong line. So the next thing you do is you open it up, bearing in mind where this line is here, this is where you're going to cut. So then open that up there and they're going to make a cut in from this line here into the centre and from this line here into the centre. I'm just going to close my curtains, I'm getting some sunlight through. Okay, okay. so cut along that line there to where the flap comes in and do the same on the other side. So cut along the line to where the flap comes in. Okay, so now you're going to fold that up. This time, instead of having those inside, you're going to bring them round to the outside. And that forms your two little tuck spots on the front, like that. So all we need to do now is go in with some glue. So you need to glue along each side of the pocket here. And I come up just a little bit on the edge here, not too much because we don't want to obviously cover this up, but just a just tiny little bit to hold that pocket there. And again, a little bit of glue down the bottom and slightly up the edge there. There we go. That's formed our first pocket on the back. So then you're going to want to bring your next pocket over. And then we do the same with the front, but all we need to glue on the front is this line along here and bring that one in and this line along here and bring that one in and if you've cut correctly and folded correctly you should just meet in the middle so the front's more like two little side tuck pockets rather than anything going down into the front because obviously they just meet there and there we have it that is your pocket. Obviously, you can then go back and then decorate this. If I just show you, oh, hang on, I forgot to glue this part. So obviously, um, to keep this together, I have to put a bead of glue down this left-hand side and down this side, and that just holds the pocket together. There we go. 
So we can have a tag in the back and a tag in the front. So there we go. Um, simple. That bit gets glued into a journal and then we've got two little duck spots for a tag. So I'm going to have a go at doing another one. I'm going to have a go at this paper this time. I'm going to draw around. I'm going to do a smaller one to see how this works. So I'm just get my pencil and draw around my circle and then cut it out. See how small we can go. And these could then hold things like little labels. If you're um, doing any snail mail, flat mail that you want to send to friends or sell online. There we go. So that's quite a small circle this time. So same thing. Bring your outsides into the middle. So just do this by eye. There we go. And then bring the bottom part up to the top, making sure those side pieces line up. You're going to give that a really good crease. Then we bring it down, open it up, and then we snip along those two lines there. So where that line is, just snip in to where the fold joins there. Again on the other side, so where your line is, cut along to there. And then we do our gluing. So a little piece of glue on there and there. Just hold that so it takes. And then that part gets folded up and they get folded to the front. And then we put glue down the edges, the front flap to hold that in place to the back. And then the front ones we just glue along the bottom. Like so. So I've got some little tags that I've made in here. So they're nice cute little tiny pockets just to pop some smaller tags and ephemera in. Put that one in the back. And then a smaller one to go in the front two pockets. And there we are, another little loaded pocket. These are super cute, super easy to make. And again, so it's just from one circle of paper with the folds that I've shown you. And so there we can see different sizes, different coloured papers and different effects. And I think actually they make a really nice um, addition to any journals. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Hope you have a go yourself. Thank you for my new subscribers. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of support I'm getting at the minute. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at VintageLaceJournal75. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.